friends, I'm Monique and I'm back with a new layout for Pear Tree Cut Files. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Today's layout documents a lovely snowy memory and I'm making use of one of the January Pear Scription Cut Files, this lovely Polaroid with the snowflakes peeking out, as well as this gorgeous title piece that says Snowflakes Are Falling. For this page, I really just envisaged a beautiful pastel rainbow and this piece of patterned paper from Rosie's studio from the Take Flight collection was just perfect. It looks like painted streaks of beautiful pastel rainbow deliciousness and um, I just absolutely adore these colours. So I'm going ahead and I'm tearing that piece of pattern paper um, and I'm going to just ruffle up those edges a little bit um, and I'm tearing off um, just to kind of make it look how I want it to look and I'm not 100% sure where I want everything to go just yet but I know that I want to use that beautiful rainbow and include a little bit of mixed media to go with it. So I'm just having a little play seeing um, where I want to have the title and the Polaroids um, before just going in and making a soft pencil line where the edge of that um, pattern paper will be. I do kind of shift the pattern paper slightly upwards so that when I do stick it down um, the pattern paper will be covering my line. Now that's really just to guide me so I know where to do my mixed media. So I've grabbed um, a few Distress Oxide ink pads, I've used five in various colours and I'm going to use these five to make the full rainbow spectrum and I just want to um, continue that lovely rainbow down onto my page, almost like um, the title um, says snowflakes are falling, I want the rainbow to kind of just continue falling down the page as well. So to do this, I'm using the packaging technique and I just stamp the ink pad, the Distress Oxide ink pad, onto a large acrylic block. You don't need to use an acrylic block, you can use a piece of plastic packaging and I just stamp it down, um, add a dab of water and then use another piece of plastic packaging. You could use cling film or any piece of scrap plastic that you've got lying around and just use that to pick up the diluted ink and then smudge it onto your page. Now. As you can see, I'm mixing the different colours together to create colours that I don't have in an ink pad. So um, I've used the, the green that I do have, which is cracked pistachio, along with some of the squeezed lemonade, which is a lovely bright yellow, to make um, a more lime green colour. And here I'm doing it again using the squeezed lemonade and kitsch flamingo, which is a lovely pink, just to make... Um, a more orange tone and these colors really just mix quite nicely together I just make sure when I'm stamping the ink pad onto the acrylic block I just stamp them next to each other and then use a dab of water just to kind of mix them mix them together now I'm loving that rainbow in the background using the distress oxides and the packaging technique but I want to add a little bit of sparkle so I've got these gorgeous glittery pastel um, watercolors from Campella. Um, they're made locally here in the UK and they're just beautiful. I love using these watercolors and I've just added a little bit of water to each of the pans that I'm going to be using and then I just gently paint them on top of those colors. Now it doesn't add any extra color because I'm using tone on tone so um, I'm just using the same colors that are already on the background but because there's so much beautiful sparkle in those watercolors um, it just adds a little extra shimmer and just kind of like how snow glistens um, that's the kind of feel I wanted to to get from it so now I'm moving on to this gorgeous Polaroid and I've got my three photos I've decided to print them in black and white um, just to kind of emphasize the the snowy feeling and um, to kind of also make them stand out from the very um, colorful background as well so my friend and I went um, for a 10 mile walk um, on New Year's Eve um, in 2020 yes 2020 <laughs> and um, we were doing it um, to raise money for a local charity and it had just been um, a really really snowy couple of days and it was actually snowing quite a bit on the day that we walked but it was just absolutely beautiful and it was we couldn't have asked for a better day to to go for a walk everything was quiet and white and sparkly and just beautiful and the snow was indeed falling <laughs> so um, those photos were perfect for, for this page. Now um, what I'm doing now is I'm using the same color Distress Oxides and I'm just adding a little bit of ink to the bottom of those Polaroid frames. So I'm lining it up with where I want to have it on the background 
and I'm just adding a little bit of color to the bottom, kind of fading up to the top, almost like an ombre effect. And I'm working through the rainbow so that the ink that I've added to the top of the cut file um, matches the background. Now, I don't want it to totally fade into the background, so that's why I'm leaving the, the top of the cut files white and the snowflakes white. Um, but I do just want it to kind of tone in a little bit. The reason I decided to do this was because um, when I finally got my final idea of where I wanted the cut files to be positioned, um, I needed to lay the snowflakes a falling cut file on top of the Polaroid and because they're both white, that title piece just kind of blended into it and it didn't really stand out and it was um, quite difficult to read. So I've decided that I'm going to add a little bit of colour to the bottom of those Polaroids and that will then help that title piece just pop off the background a little bit more. Now I use the term pop off the page quite loosely here because we don't have any strong contrasts um, but it did need just a little bit of, of contrast in the background so that you could could read those words. Now I've got these lovely little uh, metal dies from Waffle Flower and um, they're just these beautiful delicate little um, snowflakes of various sizes and I've cut them out um, using that leftover half of that pretty patterned paper and um, in all the different colours which I'm going to, to add to the background. Now I've got this lovely um, snowflake stencil from Petri Cut Files. Um, I'll link everything up for you below, so just take a little look down there for, for all the details. And um, I'm just going in with my ink blenders and just adding very, very light colour. I'm not really adding much ink to those blenders at all. I just want it to be very subtle in the background. Like Lots of snowflakes are just kind of flurrying down to the ground. And um, yeah, I don't want any stark contrasts. Now, I just want to raise this um, cut file up. So I'm using some craft foam behind the photos and then these lovely skinny strips of double-sided adhesive foam, um, my favorites um, from scrapbook.com. Um, I'll drop a link for those um, in the description box for you as well. And um, that just raises that up a little bit from the background and and just gives it a little bit of extra height. Now these beautiful little snowflakes I cut out, I do just want to kind of dot around the page. I'm not 100% sure where yet. I have also cut some out in vellum um, and I'm thinking of just going tone on tone so I'm just having a little play to see, to see where I like them. Um, so I do spend a little bit of time <laughs> fiddling with these to find the perfect spot before eventually deciding where I like them and I do end up going with some of them um, kind of behind the cut file just in the background just to add a little bit of extra depth to the page. It's always the stage of a layout where I can spend the longest time fiddling with all those little pieces just to find the right place and then end up taking half of them off. <laughs> um, but um, in a moment, I'm going to grab my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and just put a few little dots of glue on the back of each of these pieces so that I can stick them down. I'm not raising these up. Um, they're just kind of adding extra interest to that background. So they're more, um, definitely more part of the background. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this lovely snowflake Polaroid cut file is part of the January pair subscription over at Pear Tree Cut Files. And what that is, is a monthly subscription of three exclusive cut files that you can't buy in the online store. And um, you can either subscribe to the pre-cut cut files where they cut and then sent to you on a monthly basis or you can get the digital version which comes into your inbox on the first of every month and you've got those to create with and they never disappoint. They're three beautiful cut files each month and I absolutely love the wintry theme of the January prescription. I decided to back the word falling with some vellum. I love the effect vellum gives. Um, it just kind of gives a soft effect on top of that rainbow but still allow, allow some of the colour to shine through and I back it just by adding some glue to the back of the cut file putting a piece of vellum over the glue and then snipping carefully around the letters I don't cut each individual letter out and then stick it down because the vellum is quite fine um, and that would be I think a little bit a little bit fiddly so I rather just work with one whole piece and then go around and do my cutting but now I've got some lovely um, perspex snowflakes also from pear tree cut files and I'm just adding those to my page I've kind of made like a horizontal of embellishments of snowflake embellishments starting in the center at the top and kind of working 
working its way down to the bottom, just like a, a flurry of snow falling down from the sky. So I just spend a little bit of time making sure I've got all the placements correct and that I'm happy with all of that. And now I'm going to just be adding some um, foam to the back of my cut file because I want to raise that. Up. But at this point, I decide, oh, I want to add a little bit of stenciling to the background. So I've come in with my Nouveau Glimmer Paste in the color Moonstone, which is so, so shimmery and sparkly. It's a kind of clear iridescent um, sparkly glitter and I'm just using this stencil um, it's the same stencil I used earlier also from Pear Tree Cut Files with lots of different sized beautiful delicate snowflakes now it really would have been a lot easier if I had decided to add this sparkly layer of snowflakes before I'd stuck down the beautiful snowflake Polaroid um, cut file um, however I often do end up finding myself working a little bit backwards and sticking things down and then deciding to add things in and um, it all works out um, it just it would have been easier <laughs> if I didn't have any obstacles along the way um, so now I'm just, just sticking down some of those lovely delicate little die cut snowflakes and just being certain of all the, the places that I've chosen for them they really are so pretty and the ones that I've cut out um, in different colors I've just made sure that they're kind of falling down um, from the same colors from that pattern paper at the top um, just to keep that rainbow sequence in order and now I'm just getting that title piece stuck down before um, gluing down all those little perspex pieces. I love this little pack of perspex snowflakes they come in um, I think there's about four different um, colors and I've tried to be quite careful in placing them along the same rainbow line as the colors of that backing paper. So there is a bit of a tone on tone going on there apart from that little blue one at the bottom, but it does kind of continue down from, from that turquoise strip of color. I want to add a little bit of sparkle to that cut file. So I've got this lovely glitter brush pen from scrapbook.com and the it's a very, very fine glitter that comes out in a, in a liquid that I just paint onto each of those letters and it just gives a lovely subtle shimmer. And now I've got these beautiful little iridescent gems um, from Little Things by Lucy's Cards and I'm just adding one of each of those um, to the center of each of the snowflakes. The little gems are in various sizes so it's quite nice I can add smaller ones to the smaller snowflakes and slightly bigger ones to the big ones just adding a little bit of variety. And last but not least a couple little um, sentiment strips from a sticker sheet from Mrs. Brimbles which is wintry themed and that is my final little touch and here are some close-ups so you can can see all that shimmery detail in the background from the watercolors and the glimmer paste all the little details from those snowflakes and those gorgeous cut files I've absolutely loved creating with them like I said I've linked them up for you in the description box below along with all the other products that, that I've used and you can come along and join us on the Petri Cut Files Facebook group for lots of inspiration and ideas. Thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope something you've seen today has inspired a new idea and that you get to be creative too. Please do drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. You can also find me on Instagram at Handmade Happy by Monique. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.